Hello, and thank you for joining me. I'm Timbo Took, and this is The Joy of Painting Middle Earth, a time when we come together to paint the most fantastic landscapes Middle Earth has to offer. And maybe we'll paint a scary one a time or two. That can be quite fun, you know. Now, I may not be the best painter in the Shire, but I do love it so, and I'd love for you to paint right along with me. So if you're ready, grab your paints and your brushes, and let's go on an adventure. Okay, thank you for joining me. We're ready to go. We've got a black canvas again today. Oh, these are very fun. And what I've done is I've prepared that canvas. I painted it black with a black acrylic gesso. Let that dry. And once it was dry, I went over it with a liquid clear. That magic clear that just gives it just a thin, very thin coat. Don't overdo it with that. Just a thin coat. If you put too much on, wipe it off with a paper towel. That's right. Now we're going to get into this today, just like the Blue Wizard taught us how to do. That's right, Bob Ross the Blue. He used to come to the Shire when I was just a boy, and he'd teach us all how to paint. So what we're going to do is we're going to do one of these paintings that he used to do. So we've got our titanium white. Oh, our colors, alizarin crimson, thalo blue, sap green, burnt umber. Oh, that's ivory black. Cadmium yellow, yellow ochre, bright red, and of course titanium white. There we go. And we're just going to take some of this thalo blue and we're going to mix it right in here. This is a very dark blue, but we're lightening it up. There we go. So we're going to come up. We're doing some mountains today. It's been a while since we painted some mountains together. So I thought we'd do that. So we're just going to come in here. We're going to come up. And if you have to, steady out your easel with a big old hobbit foot if yours is wobbly like mine. Then we just, oh, we just put this right in here. Just bring this down. There we go. Mixing that in. You can see there's some clouds in there. Just with that white we had that's mixed in. There we go. And we're automatically just filling this in. There we are. Just bring that over. There we are. We're going to have two different skies today. One side is a little blue. There's a little hope in it. And the other side, oh, that's going towards that, oh, that dark place, Mordor. That's right. That's right. There we go. Just mix that in. There. There we go. That's all there was to that. Now let's just, oh, we're just going to clean off this brush and then soften that sky out. So we use our odorless paint thinner we've got in the bucket over here. There we are. And I picked up some odorless paint thinner this week because I was running out last week. That's right. Oh, I barely even cleaned my brush while we were painting. That's right, but I've got just a rubbish bin. Oh, and we beat the Sauron out of the brush right down in there. There we go. Come back and we'll just, there we are. Just soften that out. Just lift it where it needs to be lifted. Soften that out. There we are. Knock that paint off the brush. Now, like I said, we have over on this side, oh, that's towards the west. And then over here, oh, we have that dark land of Mordor. We're following, oh, we're following Frodo and my grand gaffer Gamgee. That's right, as they headed down into the land of Athelion. Oh, and Mr. Gollum was leading them to Mordor. All right, we're just going to come. We're going to put some clouds in. So just taking that same two-inch brush, we just got... We've got our titanium white on there, and we're just going to circle in some clouds here. We're just going to bring those in because this is where things are changing in our world. That's right. Bring that down. Our clouds are going to be getting darker over this way. There we go. 
There we are. Bring that down. Don't worry, we're going to have some mountains in here as well. So we're just going to come clean that off again. Oh, getting a little too excited there and I'm splashing around. There we go. Once we have that brush clean, just come back and oh, we're just going to circle this. Circle this in here. Just maybe lift those clouds. There we go. Circle that in. And you can see that separation between the blue sky and the dark sky there. There we go. There we are. We can even if we want to. Oh, you know, I like these blender brushes. Just come and you can just soften these up just very gently with these blender brushes. It's, it's almost like cheating. It's so easy. That's right. It's so easy with these blender brushes. I say it's almost like cheating. You may feel different, but that's how I feel. There we go. There we are, soften down this side. Oh, look at that right there. Look at that, gives us all kinds of cloud things happening there. There we are. Now, we'll clean that off, or we'll just throw it on the floor. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, oh. Hey, I caught it. I don't know. I'm not good at that. All right. We'll put that there and learn how to juggle later. Right now, we're going to come back and we're going to put some, some more clouds in here. But, oh, these are going to have a bit of a red tinge to them because that's coming over from that Land of Mordor. So we're going to take, oh, just, oh, just in that blue that we had. There we go. Well, I guess it's a purple. Coming out more purple. Maybe, maybe we'll get some white, put some white in there. That'll probably make it like a pink. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what this does to us. Right here, right here, we'll mix those in. Oh, yes, that's that's a little more purple than we wanted, but that's okay. That's uh, okay. Let's just come tab some of that, that red right there. Let's put that red in the clouds. There we go. That'll give it more. More of that look from Mordor that we're seeing. Now we want to, we don't want to put any yellow in there. We have blue in there already. So we don't want to come to yellow and put our yellow in there. That'll make the sky green. And while it's, it's some weird colors, unless we were by, oh, Minas Morgul, then we could make the sky a little green, but we don't want to do that. Not yet, not yet. So we'll just put this red color, bring that over. Oh, it might be a little too much right there, but that's okay. We're going to come. There we go. Let's, before we mess that up too much, let's just come clean that brush again. There we go. Now let's just take some more white. Just grabbing some white on there. Let's just come... We'll put this, but we're going to mix this down so it'll start to look a little dark. Maybe, maybe just grab some of that black. We'll just mix this right in on the canvas. There we go. That makes it more dark, more gray.
There we go. Now let's let's do that again. Let's take some more of that black. Let's come in right here. These clouds will say they're getting very dark over this way. We'll just run those through. Run them through right here. Now, before we mix that up too much, let's just let's soften this out. It's starting to get a little messy. You're saying, oh, Timbo, what are you doing? What are you doing, Timbo? Oh, it's not me. That's the dark one over there. He's making those, those mean looking clouds and we'll put some mountains right in front of here anyways. So, so you'll see, but we just bring that down. We can just mix that in. There we go. There we are, and that just gives us a background. You can just see what old Mr. Frodo and my grand gaffer Gamgee were seeing. Oh, I think that'd be starting to get a little scary there. That would start to get a little scary when you see that dark sky is starting. There we go. Let's, let's come. Oh, and we wanna, let's pull this out of the way. We don't need all that purple right there. We'll just put that up there in case we use that again. There we are. Now we're gonna do some mountains and these mountains, now we've done the misty mountains before where they're nice and tall and they have that proud gray stone covered with snow. These ones are gonna be more brown. Now that's all the Van Dyke brown I had left. So what we're going to do we're going to mix in some of our, our alizarin crimson and our sap green. There we go. There we go. Just mix up a brown color like that. Now, even if you didn't have any brown, we could still mix that up. There we are. All right. So these mountains are marching down to the south. So let's do, we'll do some mountains that come down this way. Just put that in there. Maybe marches back. Those go off into the distance there. Just push that color right into your painting. That'll just drop down to the distance. Then let's come back. Let's, oh, we'll take this guy. This one here is closest to us. And it'll come up right like this. And maybe come tall. back over this way and you see it's just kind of exposing what's back that way and just pull that excess paint just push it right down into your canvas There we go. Just getting that brown pushed in. Just that rocky color there. Just push it down. <coughs> All right. And just bring it down cover up we came a little low with those clouds we got that color down a little far but that's okay we it still gives us something to stick to we'll put that right there right there there we go There we 
far we got some mountains there and you can see on the other side of those mountains that's not a place you'd want to be oh but that's the place where they're going oh we don't like that all right let's give us now of course it's light this way the sun is off to the west and that light's going to be hitting the mountains there so let's come let's take some titanium white into here mix that up let's mix that highlight color together there we go we don't want all the colors to mix completely together maybe take a little yellow ochre it's on the reddish side here there we go just a bit more of our titanium white there we go so now what we do is we just cut off a row of that paint and we're going to come down here. This is where the sun is hitting. Oh, you see, I got a little shaky hands. That's okay. That's okay because we just pull that right down our mountain face. There we go. Grab some more. And this will come just like this. Just let that paint break right off the knife there. Come back, get some more on there, and we're just going to bring this down this way, just letting that paint break right off. There we go. There we are. And you see we have this area now, this one's going to come right in front of that. Right in front. So you see it leaves that area, that's in shadow still. And just bring it down. There we are, we're running out, but it doesn't matter. Maybe just grab a little more white throw in there there we go let's bring that then we can bring this right down this side just bringing it over just making all these little things happen here There we go. Now, now let's let's just take some of that oh some of that brown that we have. We don't have a whole lot left. Maybe grab some of that bluish purple that we had. It's going to be reflecting that darker sky on the other side. A little in there. There we go. So it's just that muted brown color with some highlights in there and you'll come you can just put some right there some right up here there we go this is just that shadow side of the mountain And maybe even back here, maybe that, you get a touch of that back there. There we are. And even some spots, look for them here where it just maybe comes down. There we go. And right here. There we are. And... Just pull some in there. There we go. And you see that quick? We've dropped in those mountains for you. It's that easy. Just taking this little palette knife and just lightly bringing it right down. There you go. Now let's come and let's put a... We're just going to tap this out. We have our clean two-inch brush. 
And we're just going to tap this out at the bottom here. We have a little bit of color on there. That's okay. That's okay. Just tap it up following those angles. There we go. That's just putting that haze at the bottom. That atmosphere that's between you and those mountains. We still got a ways to go. Just follow those angles. There we go. Now we can clean off that brush. All right. So before, like I said, this is where, oh, Mr. Frodo and my grand gaffer Gamgee, they're camping out here, building a little fire. Let's move some of this, some of this paint we have here in our working area. Let's just move that out of the way. We'll just pull that out. Just drop that up there. There we go. Now let's come. We want to put some trees back here. So we want some trees and bushes. So we need kind of a dark color. So we're going to come to some of our ivory black right here. Scoop up some of that. There we go. Some of that sap green. So we mix that together, that ivory black and that sap green. And then we're just going to put some bushes back here. So these are trees and things that are back here. We just put them in and we'll come back and we'll highlight these. Maybe we need to thin that out a little bit. We have a lot of paint back there. So a thin paint will stick to a thick paint. So we just pop that in. There we go. And we'll come back and highlight these. So you just bend in that brush as you put that in there. That gives it the appearance of leaves and branches and things. There we go. There we go. Now let's just clean some of that off the brush. And we'll come more to a highlight color. So we're just, we're still going to take some of this sap green. We're just going to bring it down here. And we're going to mix in some of our yellow giving us a highlight green color. There we go. So now we have this. Just tap that into your brush and then come up to the canvas and then we can put in some of those trees and things right back here. Maybe make it a little brighter so it shows up a little better. There we go. And just, there we are. Tap that in. And I'm just letting that brush just kind of crush up against there. See that? Just pushing down on that. That gives us those trees and things. And it's just a background for us. Just a background there. Now if we want to make, oh, we want to make some grass in front of that. And well, let's take this down a little further. We'll take this down this way a little further. Make some of them a little darker. There we are. 
All right, let's give ourselves a grassy, grassy area. Somewhere where it'd be nice to camp. Now you have to remember, oh, they had been through, oh, they've been through the dead marshes at this point. They had been to the Black Gate. Now they're traveling through Athelion, trying to find the pass that old Gollum has promised them. So what we do is we come up here and now let's just make a grassy area. That's right. That's where they'll be camping out. Just taking that brush and sideways. We just put that in there and just bring this down. There we go. You see? Now a lot of times I tilt my head because I'm trying not to be in your way. I'm trying to hold my body out of the way but still be able to paint. And in this case it works because we're trying to paint a little hill. These hills go right up into the mountains. That's right. That's right. So, and we do want it a little brighter so it separates from those trees. There we go. We want that to come down. Right down here. Marches back that way. There we go. Now one thing we can do, you can soften that out a bit if it's too, too rough. But one thing we know about this place is there were streams that ran out of these mountains. There were streams there, they ran out of the mountains. So there'd be some water here. So let's, let's come. And what we're going to do is we're just going to fill our brush with some colors. Just here, maybe a little yellow ochre in there. Just some of these colors. Oh, hitting my painting here. I'm getting a little too excited. So we just, we just want some of these. Maybe a little darker. There we go. We just want those colors right there because, oh, these waters aren't going to be so blue. Just pulling that straight down. Just putting some of that color in there. We don't want it too bright, but we do want it to reflect some of those colors that are up above it. That's right. There we go. Now, come right off this way. We'll have some trees and things over here, so you don't have to worry about that too much. Now let's just come to some of our titanium white. Just get a little of that on the brush. There we go. And let's just bring some of that in there too. There we are, clean off that brush again. Oh, I just realized we've only used, well, this brush and we use the blender brush, but we just use the blender brush to soften things out. I think this is the only brush I've used so far. And the palette knife, of course. Now that you have that, we can just pull it out this way. Just pull that out. You see that? That gives us, so it gives that reflective look there. There we go. 
Now you're like, oh, that doesn't look, that doesn't look like a reflection. Oh, that doesn't look like a reflection. Well, we need some, we need some land to come up to that water. That's what we need. Oh, let's make that brown again. We've got that oh, sap green. Come in with the alizarin crimson here. Mix that up. Oh, this river might get a little scary if the banks of it look like they're covered with blood. Oh, we don't want that. We don't want that. Put a little more green in there. Oh, the blue wizard used to call this a Christmas brown because it was mostly red and green. All right, that looks brown enough, I guess. We'll still come back and highlight it. So once you have that, let's just bring some land right down to the water. There we go. Get some more there. Oh, I'm painting my hand. Painting my hand right in there. Bring that down. There we go. Right down to the water. There we are. Now, now let's, let's put a little highlight in there. If you want to, you can make rocks and things on this bank. Just take some white, mix it into that color. There we go. And just, just like your mountains, just let that break off there. And that just gives you that bank right on the shore there. Back, get a little more, and we'll just come in right here. There we go. All right, let's get a little. Oh, we just got a little paint thinner on there. We're just thinning out some of this, some of our white there. Make it a little runnier so it sticks real easy. There we go. Just get a little of that on the knife and come up. And what we can do is we're just going to put in the shoreline here. That'll make it. That gives us where that water starts. The land stops and the water starts. And we just bring that straight across. Just like that. There we go. Now, if you want to give some of that effect that that water looks like it's shimmering a little, what you want to do is you just want to take it, oh, and just straight in there. That'll break it up just a bit. you want, you can put rocks and things in there. There we go. Now, why don't, since we have some of this brown here, since we have some of this brown here, we've got quite a bit left. Let's just go in and let's just put some Oh, some tree trunks here, right here. There we go. Put those, might be a little hard to see some of those, but we'll highlight them. And then we can put some leaves on them and things. 
There we go. Just take some of that white and mix it in with that brown that we have. There we go. Just get a little highlight color and then we can highlight some of these. There we are. All right, now, now we've, uh, we've used just our, mainly our two inch brush till now. Let's just go with a little bit smaller brush. Let's just mix up, try to get more of a forest green here. Mix in some of that white there. There we go. We don't want it to be too white, but we do want to we do want to be able to drop it in. So just tap that into your brush and then we'll come up here and we're just going to put some some lighter leaves in there on those trees. There we go. Just come back, just make those trees come up. There we go. Remember to tap, if you smush it, it'll start to look like mud. So we just want to tap that in. See, I just smushed it there a little bit, that's okay. We don't want to, but if it happens, it happens. Just mix some of those colors around, making a little bit different colors on there, maybe a little, put a little red in there. That one comes up a little higher. There we go. Grab some more of that white, lighten that out. And back here, there we go. There we are, we're just putting those trees in and right down at the base there, let's just Give us a line of bushes there. There were lots of herbs and things in these bushes. Maybe there's, oh, look at that bush right there. Look at that one right there. That's a little different. There's one that's a little more purple. There we go. So you can spend your time just highlighting these trees and things. There we are. Now if you want to even take, oh, let's take a fan brush. Take a fan brush and just come into some of that, kind of that goopy white that we've got there. Just load it up on the fan brush and then just Pull it up from right here. Just make some things happen. Right at the edge there. There's some weeds and things. That gives us just some little doers in there. There we go. Now if you want a little bit of that, oh, that tall grass that grows by the water too. Get some of that Come right down here. 
and there can be some of that tall grass there. All kinds of things you can do here. There we go. Maybe we even want to put some of these bushes and things right down here at the water's edge. If you have to, again, pick up a little more of that paint thinner. Come back and you can just put these right like that. There you go. Right, just tap it in. There we go. Right down to the water's edge. Maybe there's a bush right here. Yep, it's getting, gets a little harder sometimes. Thin it out a bit. Come back. Oh, right there. That's a little dark, but that's okay. We'll come back and we'll highlight this. This might we be where old Mr. Gollum is looking for that brace of ponies. That's right. So, once we have that, just come back and we can just highlight those bushes. That just gives us shadow back behind it that we can There we go, and we just finished out that corner down there. Not knowing what we were even doing. Didn't even have a plan for that. Oh, we've got this whole side. We've got that whole side. Well, since we have a fan brush out, and we haven't done any, oh, we haven't done any uh, of our evergreen trees yet. Just come, just get some of that, that ivory black and that sap green, just making that dark green color. We'll just come up here and let's make a tall tree. Right here. Just put that in, just that line that comes down. Hopefully that's straight down. I don't know. I'm just reaching over, reaching over trying to get that. So we know what happens here. Oh, my grand gaffer Gamgee builds a fire right down here. And then that attracts the attention of some Athelian rangers. And who would one of those rangers be? Oh, but Faramir, the brother of Boromir, who was part of their fellowship. That's right. Just bring this down. Mush that in. There we go. And we'll come back and fill that up with highlights. Oh, I think we need another tree. We need some more trees here. There we go. That one wasn't too straight, but that's okay. That's okay. We're just going to come back and forth with that fan brush. There we go. Just fill that in. Maybe another right back here. Maybe a little taller than that last one. There we go. Just zigzag it back and forth. Just bending that brush as you come down. There we are. Reaches right out over the water.
And maybe we put one right here. Right here, right here, right in front of there. And we just zigzag that back and forth. There we go. Just putting it right in front of what we did over on that side. And again, put that right there. You can kind of see through there. Not too much, though. There we go. There we are. Now let's come to a highlight color on those trees. Remember the sun was coming from this way, so that's going to be the side we concentrate on. Oh, I thought we cleaned that off a little better. There we go. Now that we got our fan brush clean, just come back here. We'll grab this highlight color. Just load it up on your brush. There we go. And just using the corner of the brush. Well, before we highlight that, let's do one more thing. Take our little palette knife here. We want to, we just want to make some right in here. You don't have to put these all the way down the tree, but you just want to have some spots where you're seeing right through. And you can see that tree trunk in there. Right there. Right there. There you go. If you don't put that in, it's not that big a deal. But if you don't put that in, somebody will look at that and they go, oh, there's something not right about that tree. And that's because you haven't given it its proper structure. There we go. Bring that down. As I said, you don't have to put it through every part, but just enough so you can see through that there's, oh, there's a tree in there. There's a tree trunk in there anyway. Then we come up. And we just give this a highlight. There we go. Just bending that brush right there. They'll get a little darker as they come down. Right here, just using the corner of the brush. There we go. This one back here, there we are. Not overdoing it with the highlights. Sometimes the sun will come through and catch it a little more than some of the other ones. are and we just got one more back there let's just come give him a little highlight here right there just dropping that in there we go now we have some area down there let's just put a little bit more in there Just coming back to that one inch brush and let's go to that sap green. We'll put this darker color down underneath right here. Just some bushes and things. There we go. There we go. Maybe 
Oh. Before we get lost highlighting in there, let's just come. Let's just make this. Oh, make that real thin again. A little more thin. Just taking this small round brush. Just making that. And oh, let's put a, oh, we'll put some limbs in here. So come over there. And we're going to cover most of these up. Most of these are going to be covered up, but we'll just bring And we can just what'll be some branches in there. Just drop those in, drop those in just real quick. Now let's come and just cover those. Let's just cover those up. Coming back to our one inch brush. There we go. Now Let's just come with a highlight color here. Kind of this yellowish, a little bit of green in there too. And we'll just highlight these bushes right here. Now remember, you want there to be difference there. You want there to be some separation in those bushes. So. It doesn't just look like one pile of leaves. Maybe vary that color a little bit. Ooh, that one right there. Look at that. That's nice. And we just put that down. Just coming down that way. There we go. Now, if you turn your brush sideways, and we were popping it on straight on before, but you turn it sideways, and we'll make a grassy area here. Just tap that in. There we go. And look at that. We have that Athelian forest there. Over these mountains, those are the Ethelduith mountains or the mountains of shadow. Over on the other side is Mordor. But that's like a gate that keeps it back. And the Athelian rangers, oh, they make sure they make sure orcs aren't coming over. That's what they do. All right. Well, I hope you had a good time. I hope you enjoyed this painting. It was a nice, fun mountain painting to do. We hadn't painted a mountain in a while. I like doing that. I hope you do too. Now remember, I appreciate you coming along each week and, and watching or painting along with me. And if you want any or some of these paintings, I do have some prints available. If you go to timbotube.com, there's t-shirts and mugs and all that sorts of fun thing. That's right. And when you buy those, that just helps me buy more paints and more canvases and all that. That's really what it does. So I appreciate it. I hope you have a good week. We'll see you back next time. Goodbye and God bless.